Painting Nerd, welcome to another unboxing video. So um, today's video um, is an unboxing for some goodies that have been sent to me from One Day Saving. I've done quite a few unboxings for their bits and bobs before, really happy with the quality so I'm going to grab out, let's, let's slide it out, here we go, the bits that I have chosen for this unboxing. Um, okay, so I'm going to do it in this order because I want to show you something I'm going to be doing with this one. Okay, so this one here, um, now I keep getting comments on my videos about budget-friendly companies. Um, if you don't enjoy uh, budget-friendly company unboxings, please feel free, you don't need to tune into these videos. Um, people keep coming to me and saying, they're not licensed, blah, blah, blah. There are many, many ways that, that companies can obtain artwork that doesn't have to be licensed they could be royalty free they could be stock images they don't have to declare that it is a stock image they could have in-house designers as well so um all of these things um it does get really hurtful i do do reverse image searches on now i do reverse image searches and if i get nothing come back um on the in the public domain that these are um you know known pieces of artwork then i give them the benefit of the doubt and so i just wanted to make a point of that in this video but let's let's get this one open and take a look so this one here is this cute halloween girl i have seen this on a few different sites um but i saw it on the one day saving site as i said i've done a reverse image search and nothing's come back um, and so I thought I would pick this one up for Halloween. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get time to do it this year. Um, so it may have to go into my rotation for next year. We'll see. But this one is a 40 by 40. Um, and I think a really nice stick. I never have an issue with stick on the canvases from um, One Day Saving. So fab job from them. Um, I think this is probably going to be true to size. Yeah, just a shade under 40. Um, it could be that the canvas isn't completely flat. So I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Um, and that is, yeah, it's it's a mil under 40, 40 centimetres. So um, true to size, which I really love to see. Just whacked myself in the face with my, um, my measuring tape then as it reeled back in. But there are 35 colours on this one. Um, there are legends top um, and bottom. Oh, sorry, left and right. And um, they are all, they've all got their DMC codes. And this is a, uh, this is a square kit. Okay, so we have standard tool kits. Um, we get a tray with a little nozzle. There are tweezers, a pen with two multi-places and a squishy and two pads of wax. And then here are the drills. So one of the things that I absolutely love is having drills that are pre-bagged. Um, and so <laughs> when I see kits like this, um, I love it. Now, if you are someone that works out of bags, this is already done for you. You have the number that applies on the um, legend. Then you have the DMC code. So if you save your drills and kit down, the DMC code's already on them. And then you also have the weight. So this is going to tell you how um, how many of these. That, it, won't, it won't tell you how many, but it will tell you the weight of the, um, the quantity that you've got. So if you are someone that then kits up, um, say in the Elizabeth Ward style containers, um, this will give you an indication of what size pot you might need to fit it in which I think is super handy. So yeah, this is a square drill kit. These are acrylic drills. Um, I don't see any major problems with these drills at all. They look nice and clean. I can't really see any trash in there. We've got a little hitchhiker I can see, a little black hitchhiker in there, but he can stay in there. He's okay. Um, I'll fish him out when I'm come to use the drills. So um, these are the colours that we've got. We have um, a huge bag of 939 and and i keep my spares because i do conversions so i will keep hold of whatever i have left over uh, there are no a b drills in this one it's just a standard i say standard um since when did non a b kits become uh just thrown a throwaway comment of standard um there are some beautiful colors in this and i hope the rendering um comes out as well as what the picture looks like so yeah really nice Really nice quality drills, um, and that's what I really appreciate. I can't see any little bits that are coming off, and I am becoming very picky about my drills, um, especially doing conversions, because if you've got little tags that come off of them, um, or they're odd shapes, they don't fit together well on the canvas, and they pop. Um, and so these all look to be 
these all look to be absolutely fine i don't see i don't see any in here that look trashy so um good job little hitchhiker in there but again he can stay in there it's not a problem so yeah 35 colors on this um should be should be a nice fairly quick easy one as well because it's only only 35 colors but since it's square drill it may take a little longer than if it was round drill of course um because there are more drills to lay and it is true 40 by 40 so that's what i like to see and now everything's sticking to everything because the little sticky tape things come off Hit. okay so we'll pop these away because i want to show you um, I want to show you this other canvas and I want to talk to you about what I'm going to be doing with it. So let me just pop pop these out of the way. I will label them. They're probably going to have to go into a bag because they are, um, the, the seal's gone on it now. So, and one thing I actually do, um, I do this off camera, but I, um, I will show you, is on the back of the um, canvas, just on the area where I know it would be trimmed off, um, is I just write the name of the company it came from and also the month and the year. So when I come to work on it, I can kind of track back where I got it from um, so I can sort of credit that company to say it's where I got it from. Or if anybody asks me, then I know. So these go hand in hand. So I want to show you what I'm thinking of doing. So this is another canvas. Let's get this open. Let's move the crinklies out the way because the crinklies are just too much. Okay, and then this is the one that we have. Now, we have, um, I've seen a few different designs like this. Um, I hope that the glare isn't too much on this. I've seen a few different designs. It's just a very generic flower pattern. Um, this one's got butter, a butterfly in as well. And when you look at it, it looks almost 3D on the pictures. Um, online and so it gave me an idea so let's I'm going to pull this one back because I want to try and get this one nice and flat and straight and I think I kind of want to do this one as soon as possible because I want to show you um, my plans on this let's see if we can just get this flat now, I think this has come from a cross stitch pattern um, because we have the top little markers. Um, the, sorry, the top little markers, the little marker at the top and then the little marker to the left, which kind of um, gives an indication, um, as I've learned, that this um, potentially is from a cross stitch pattern. And that's absolutely fine. Um, they might have bought the cross stitch pattern. So um, it's not my my place to I've done a search. This hasn't come up. Um, and so as far as I'm concerned, I'm happy to use this um, as an artwork. Um, standard toolkit, I'm just going to pop to one side. So we'll look at the drills first and then I'll look at the second item that I want to talk to you about um, as to what I'm going to be doing. So the drills on this one, square drill canvas again. Let's get these out. Let's take a look. Now, these are an AB. This is an AB. I've just remembered when I'm looking at these, actually, a lot of them now just have AB on the end if they've got AB. So, you know, let's take a look at how many ABs we've got in this one. So there is one, two um oh they're stuck oh no oh no labels want to stick to each other right that's another ab then we've got another ab oh another ab wowzers there are tons there are tons of ab's in this one this is going to be amazing oh i just ripped that label off that's right you can still see the weight on the bag that's another ab oh and another ab okay cool so here are all the standard colors and one thing as i always say when i looked at those other drills um i really appreciate these being put into um bags i don't i know that i don't have more than one bag of this i know that this is all i've got of this color um it gives you the number from the canvas it gives you the dmc code so when you're kitting down it's nice and easy to um, kit down and if you keep your spare drills and then it also gives you the weight of the um, drills on the end but let's take a look at these ab's that go with it as well because we've actually got quite a few ab's in this kit so we have ab 762 which is like a gray then we have 413 which is like a darker gray 
Then we have um, 318, which is kind of somewhere in the middle of those two colours. So we've got three grey ones, and then it looks like we've got two blue. So we've got 823 and 929 in an AB. Then we have a brown in 648. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We've got 10 ABs in this. Incredible. We've got a huge bag of 819. There's uh, two, two grams. Two grams. Yeah, I think so. 2.14 grams in that one. And then we've got uh, 3801. Again, a big bag of that. And then we've got 961, so just some beautiful pinks, and then 666 in an AB as well. So there are 10 ABs in total in a 40 by 40 painting, which is incredible. So the thing that I wanted to talk to you about um, in terms of how this, how I'm going to do this slightly differently. So I am going to complete the diamond painting as it is, but I want to make it different. I want to make it 3D, and so... On um, on the website, they also do dies. Now, you do need a die cutting machine for this to work. Um, but I, as a paper crafter, I have a die cutting machine. So, fine, I can use these. So, what they are is they are a thin metal um, plate and they have a cutting edge. Not that it's sharp or anything, but they have a cutting edge on them. And you run it through your die cutting machine um, out of some paper. And then you have that as a little what we call a die cut. Um, what I'm then going to do is, once my canvas is completed, I'm then actually going to include some of these die cut elements on my um, on my canvas. So let me show you what I mean, because if you're not familiar with how a die cutting machine works, um, and if you are at all interested in um, doing something slightly different with your projects then um, this is how it works so we have a this has got a high pressured roller in and then we have a um, a carrier plastic carrier sheet I'm just going to grab some just an off cut of white that I have beside me and I'm going to just measure this this is a smaller die cutting machine and there are bigger ones available which um which I have, but I don't need for the demonstration on this. So all I'm going to do is just pop this into my little um, roller. I'm going to give it a little roll through and a roll back. And then pop that over there. And then what happens is it will create the, the shape. It will cut the shape based on that die. So what I'm going to do is once I've completed all of this is I'm then going to and what I'll do is I'll have several layered. So I'll pull out some different coloured cardstock um, in white and pink, ones that will complement the, um, the, the canvas and then I will um, I will die cut them. And then I'm going to stick them straight onto the canvas, probably with hot glue, um, to then make this into kind of like a 3D sort of thing. I have also got some butterfly dies as well. Um, so what I might do is um, include some of the flowers that I've got from this die set from um, One Day Saving, but also add some butterflies in as well. I'm not sure. They might have a butterfly on the website too. Um, so what we've actually got in this set is... Um, this die that makes this one uh, then we have a, a slightly different shape there are a couple of leaf ones as well so I might die cut some leaves um, in colours that kind of match this and then we'll have those in there as well we've got the middle part of the flower so again I could just die cut that in a different colour and then we've also got that one so there's a nice little set of um, dies there to help me cut some flowers out um, that I can then add on and then what I would look to do with this is most definitely frame it so that is what I'm going to do with this one. Just something slightly different um, than just having a standard um, diamond painted canvas to actually include some 3D elements on this also. So that is it for today. Just the two paintings um, in this one and also the dies to um, do something slightly different with this layout, um, this layout, this um, this canvas. Um, so thanks very much for joining me for today's video. 10 ABs, guys, 10 ABs and a 40 by 40 painting. Just incredible. Um, stay tuned. Keep your eyes out for this one um, to see how this one turns out. 
felt really really excited for this one um and um, as always please give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it don't forget to hit that subscribe button along with the bell so you're notified of when i next upload and drop me any comments in the comments section down below and i'll see you all again in my next video bye guys I'm